typical day here at the volunteer for BAPS in housekeeping here is like we start off with our day with the uh, we have three sub department here uh, in housekeeping uh, one being uh, we have a group that just maintains all the restrooms and then the second group is that uh, that maintains the trash uh, collection uh, from throughout the whole site and third group is just a general cleaning of the floors and sweeping and mopping so Typically in any group, we typically started out uh, with the uh, um, sweeping, cleaning, mopping, taking out trash throughout the day from different area and different location. So um, that's typical of our day looks like, I guess. So on site there, uh, we have restroom trailers. So there are, we have about close to 10 restroom trailer, each one with about uh, uh, eight stalls. So we're close to 80 uh, stall restroom, portable bathroom, plus between the phase one and uh, welcome centers and inside facility, I would say we're close to have uh, about uh, uh, another 20 bathrooms inside in the uh, permanent locations. Housekeeping is very important because a lot of people are going to be traveling to this event from all over the U.S. and uh, we want to make their experience fruitful and having a clean facility, people will enjoy it and they look forward to coming back here and spreading the very useful message to other people. So our goal is to make everyone's experience, whether they're here for first time or they'll be traveling here with the family or friends, we want to make sure that the experience and cleanliness our guru is expecting of us, we create it for them as well. There are quite a few volunteers who are, are going up above and beyond when it comes to the housekeeping. One of them, um, but if work very commonly, I think uh, we find it here is that many times when bathroom or toilet gets clogged, uh, our volunteers who there are many times who have never seen uh, or done uh, this kind of sewer, they wouldn't mind going and going and unclogging it and cleaning the bathroom and didn't think about it for a second, hey, can I do this? I mean, it's just motivating that, hey, anyone can come and do this seva and not feel ashamed. Most people at home or at work, they wouldn't mind even doing it or looking at it, uh, this, uh, but um, here when they come for volunteer, um, it's just they, they blend in and don't feel ashamed of doing anything small or dirty uh, uh, volunteer things like this. Um, there were times where we didn't have any enough male volunteers, but ladies volunteers were very enthusiastic and they kind of did the seva that we didn't ever expect. And for example, taking a big uh, pickup truck and going out and collecting a trash. Uh, collecting trash out of the trash bin requires a lot of heavy lifting and whatnot, but so many ladies went above and beyond. So volunteer work is a selfless service. So it's very important to give uh, each and every person who visits the mandir, they, they should have a great experience. So we want to give them that experience, like clean atmosphere, and they feel, they should feel they, they should feel like it's re they should get a, a good impression or they should get a good vibes from here. So if it's not clean, they cannot realize that. So that's why we, we make sure that each and every part is uh, clean, and we make sure that they get great experience. We get all range of volunteers here, or all uh, group of people. They are from different background, different culture, different thing, but uh, once we do seva, we get to know each other very well and we get to know like some of people get uh, doing uh, volunteer, even if they have uh, some challenges, you know. So we, we, uh, we get inspired by them, like how if, if they can do the seva, why we cannot. Thank you.